Okay, so now we're on to the picture that's in your packet. There's one that we are, I'm going to add one little line here. Okay. But I want you to label what you need, and then there's a few words on here that you don't have on yours, that you don't have to know, but I do want to talk about them. So just label this real quick, and I'll kind of come around and... That's just showing that this is a smaller... Okay, so this next part comes in two phases. You're going to figure out how a muscle is stimulated to contract, and then how a muscle actually contracts. So, in order for a muscle to contract, we need a signal. Where does that signal from the neuron come from? That's a acetylcholine esterase, and then it goes back. All right, now what I want you to do is I want you to talk to your neighbor real quick. And I want you to tell me two things that would happen if acetylcholine didn't get broken down. This is the nerve, and this is the muscle. Okay, so two things at your table. What would happen if acetylcholine didn't get broken down? The nerve is here, and the muscle is here. So you're getting the signal from the neuron. Okay, so two things that would happen if you didn't break down acetylcholine. The muscle what? Your muscle will contract. Your muscle won't contract, okay? Anybody put that? What about, what about you guys? What is Okay, so you had something similar to them in the muscle not contracting. Um, what if, so what if you had uh, a buildup, kind of like what Katie and Katie were saying, a buildup. So let's Okay, so what is this right here? This is the neuron or muscle? Neuron, and what is it attached to? A muscle and these are the mild fibrils, so those are even smaller. Okay, and then what this picture is, is it's taking this little section, release, what is this chemical? What's the chemical that's in between? Acetylcholine, ACH. And then that ACH is going to bind to its specific receptor, and that causes sodium to come in. So on your paper... I want you to, there's a couple things to label. I want you to label synaptic vesicle. I want you to label synaptic cleft. It's tiny right now. We could get inside of your muscles. What I want you to do with your table is come up with three things that you notice between the relaxed and the contracted muscles. Okay, and I want you to use the vocabulary. Three things that you notice between the relaxed and the contracted muscle fiber. Is moved away from myosin binding sites on actin by calcium ion. Three letters long. AC. 
ATP and calcium. Those are the four things I want you to um, remember. So I'm going to play without them. And then I want you guys to tell me what's going on. Okay, so what is this blue thing? Myosin, actin, ATP, and calcium. Now we're going to see a whole muscle contract. So it'll kind of make it a little bigger. Okay, so we're here. We are at the heart. So what I want you to think about, I'm going to show you one more time. I want you to come up with what you think the, the little white floaty things are and why. Okay? So I'm going to one more time. So you're looking for the little white floaty things and being able to explain what they are.